a minute. Mm -hmm. October's girl or 
this time to get here before. Is there any of it down there? Yeah, that was cool. Did you hear what the second prison might be? Uh, didn't you say keys? Yeah. Seems like they talk about this about every two or three, four years. They were talking, you know, one time they talked about closing Vance Air Force Base several times. I think they kind of got off of that, didn't they? Oh. They got a little more defense spending now. Probably help that. <clears throat> you know, I've got to pull out that big gun. <laughs> Save me.
I would probably have to have given for different two to stop and burn cream. There's two copies there.
Resolution for the 52% of sales tax to be redistributed. Mr. on changing the percentage. Yeah. 
He must be forwarded to his office. Thank you for the time, and I apologize for being late. I was, had to be in the county. Anyway, um, I have a real great concern that I think would major, be a major impact on our county, and that's Crabtree Correctional Center. As you guys know, the governor's looking at closing five correctional facilities around the state, possibly. Possibly. I know it's possibly right now, but the uh, concern is that he's looking at older facilities. And as you know, Crabtree is a former boys' home made into a correctional center. And because of that fact, I think it could be possibly on the list. I've talked to Warden Whitten down there. And uh, anyway, so my concern is we need to be contacting the governor and the Department of Corrections director and the Department of Public Safety director to inform him of the need and the impact that would have on our, our, our part. But also, what we need to let them know is that, first of all, Crabtree is one of the only facilities that runs in the black around the state. Really? Yeah. And so they, they make good use of the money. Also, what we need to let them be aware of is that uh, I haven't got the exact figures, but I can guarantee you the inmates are taken care of well, but yet at a lower cost than what they would in a lot of other facilities, specifically if we went to a private pay prison. I mean, uh, and that we had to pay for them. We also have a very exceptional, uh, and I don't know how this is going to get, I don't want how this come off, but the exceptional prison population up there at Crabtree Correctional. We have older, older gentlemen that are in there for not good things and, and the medium security part. And so where they would move them around because they are an older population, uh, they have to have more uh, <coughs> extensive health care needs and stuff like that. And so it also provides a unique opportunity for that. And so to move them out would also be a burden on the population. It'd also be a burden on the other prisons because they have all age groups, whereas Crabtree has more of an, uh, a larger age group. And uh, so those are my concerns, is that I don't want the prison closed. It has a major impact on the <coughs> county, and I thought the county commissioner should know about that. And I know it would be an impact on your money you get, because I do believe that every, every dollar spent in the canteen, they pay county sales tax. And so it would be, even if you took out all the, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of payroll that's paid out to people that live in, in our area, and like you said, if, if somebody comes into our area and they buy something, I mean, you pay somebody that lives here, that dollar turns around about seven times before it leaves our area. And so that makes a difference besides the fact that you also get direct in, uh, sales tax from the, from the canteen and the facilities. And so I just, uh, I think it's, it's a great concern for our, we got a lot of our friends, neighbors, 
people we live with that, that are employed there or maybe impacted their spouse works there or something like that and so it's just a great concern to me and I just want the people my idea is to be proactive because no offense our governor is a guy that, and I looked it up by statutory regulations the Department of Corrections director all he has to do is say it's closed and it closes okay the legislature has no impact we can't can't stop it by killing a bill or anything like that that statutory regulation falls on on the director of corrections so the governor told the department of director of corrections close crabtree crabtree correctional center they'll be closed tomorrow and so basically the governor's in charge yeah yeah or, yeah the department the director is but he's under the person you know the supervision of the, of the governor of course so yeah you're correct and so the way things have happened it could be overnight and so I would rather be proactive than reactive because after it's closed it may it's probably going to be too late so in other words my idea is for us to be a proactive county a proactive area to reach out uh, to that I, I personally have a meeting with the department uh, the director of the Department of Corrections on Wednesday morning but I didn't want to wait till after that I just think I think I know there are, or I was just at a town hall meeting last, I'm sorry, the nights are running together, I think it was last Thursday night that I was over at Fort Supply because they're worried about Keys Correctional Center. And I, I really believe that Keys is at a higher risk than what Crabtree is, but I still think Crabtree's at risk, okay? If I didn't think that, I wouldn't be up here. But I, I just think, I don't want to step back and say, you know, couple months from now, boy, I wish we had done something about that again. Yeah. And so my idea is now is to put it out there now versus later because it could be they can make a decision tomorrow and we would be maybe over with. So and are you gonna meet with Scott Crow? I meet with Scott Crow on Wednesday, yes. And at Wednesday morning. So he wasn't at that meeting. He said at what meeting? Oh, um, they had some kind of meeting that, where they're talking about these two prisons. No, I, they, okay, there's no specific list that says these five correctional facilities are going to be closed. No, they haven't been given out a name. They just, here, the, 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 there's, well, what they said legitimately, publicly, is that they're looking at the older facilities. Okay? Crabtree, Keys, both of them are older facilities, okay? Both of them, well, in fact, if you look at all three prisons I represent, Alva, you know, uh, Bill Johnson, Crabtree, and Keys, the, the inmates are cared for much more economically than they are in, in many of the metro area prisons, okay? Now, they say, they're going to come back and say we've had problems with uh, hiring people. That's not a problem now, right now. I mean, you, you guys look at our prison system, it's been a security blanket. You know, some of the people from the oil field, have, you know, they went at the oil field and came back to the prisons even, you know, but, but the prisons have been there and they've been just, they're going to be, I mean, they're constant. I mean, and, and so, and we have 160 acres down here at uh, Crabtree that we could use for expanding that prison if they want to, if they want to make a smaller prisons I mean bigger they were talking about making four larger facilities and have it all housed in one area you got 160 acres you can make a huge prison there uh, I think uh, Keys has 3,000 acres I knew it was big I didn't know how big well Crabtree has more too they got more across the road okay well the, the warden just told me they had 160 this morning <coughs> I, I think you're right. I think there's more than that, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, well, they got the farm just north of it. Yeah, and so, you know, that, that's what we're looking at. And, uh, you know, even the, in, in the community of Helena, you know, they get city sales tax off that because they've incorporated the Crabtree into their city. And so, you know, it, it's just, it just would impact a lot of people negatively. And so I just have a great concern for it, and that's why I wanted to bring it to you guys' attention. 
and to the county's attention so that we could be proactive in that. So, questions? I'm happy. I mean, I may not have given you all the answers. I don't have all the answers. I'm still getting financial data. I'm planning. This is just me right now planning. I'm planning on possibly doing a town hall in Helena. Because I think we need to start there. And well, I mean, to, they're not going to do something. I mean, do you have any idea, or is this just talk? Or it's talk right now. But I mean, no offense. They, that, the way they, the way he steps up, you don't hear what they're going to do. He yeah. just does it, and then you find out later. Okay. I mean, like today, I saw on the news. I I hadn't heard it, but the governor says he's planning on putting the Turnpike Authority and the Department of Transportation together. That's not been. An item that's been, but, but he, that's what he's wanting to get done. Okay, I mean, so when he does it, he just does things, and that's why. So uh, we should get on the phone and express our. Yeah, and that's why I'm. I'm uh, I didn't get the email. To, I can give it to you guys. I've got to get copies of it though. But I've got an e email that's coming in that'll have. I've got their phone numbers and addresses that you can write and call them. And I think what we need to do right now is call them and and just flood the phone banks. Let them know that, you know, closing Crabtree makes a difference to people in, in our area. And they're already doing that at Keys and and I think it's making an impact. So but I just know that I think Keys is yes is at higher risk than Crabtree, but I don't want to step back and say, well, I don't think it's probably much of a risk, you know, but <coughs> I wish I wish we had them. Because what they do have four new housing units that they built down at Crabtree, you know, since the not using just the all the old facilities, but I think we're better safe than sorry. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Questions? Will you leave the contacts with us? Yes, I will. I'll get out as soon as I so get off here if I can get with you, and I'll send you the email, forward the email to you, and you can print it off. Would that be all right? I got it on a Word document. I had my assistant do that this morning. So. Off subject, what do they get on their phone with driver's licenses? You mean the real ID? Well, supposedly in April is what I heard last. I can give you more information when I get down there next month when I'm down, walking around the halls all day, but I'm, what I'm hearing is that by the end of April. Next week also. And Wednesday is the day that we go to the Capitol. Yep, breakfast. So we have breakfast at ACO, and then we go to the Capitol next week for CODA. So we need representatives to go down there. I'll be there. Cool. That this About 8 o'clock. Next week. Wednesday the uh, 5th, right? Right. Wednesday, February 5th. I'll be there. About 8 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> But I don't. I mean, I appreciate your time. I come. We'll buy your breakfast. Yeah, you will. Yeah. <laughs> but, I'm not eat, but I'm not eating any breakfast. It's, it don't, it's not a big deal. They they put out scrambled okay. eggs, sausage, and something else there, <laughs> and, uh, and biscuits. And, and so, and I'm probably not going to eat anyway. But anyway. <laughs> but I I do thank you guys for your time, and I I thank you for coming up. And yes, thank appreciate you, you being part of yeah, it. Yeah, we do. Yes, no, absolutely. Thank you. All right. Have fun next month. Yeah. Well, actually, it's still June, right? Yeah. Try to make an eye appointment. They said, oh, yeah, June 15th, you can have an eye appointment. They said, okay, we're going to use somebody else. <laughs> so, see Carl. anyway, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah so, thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. I'll right, get that to you right now. Nancy, can you put the one of those off for me? Thank you. I'll say yours. All right. Oh, thank you guys.